Hi and welcome back to our how to electrical series. In this video we're going to be looking at testing and in specifically the pre-energised test. These are the tests you carry out before you um, energise your installation. As you can see here we've got a nice little test rig with a light and two-way switching one circuit there and here you can see we've got a ring circuit. So the test I want to carry out first of all is the circuit protective conductors, the continuity of circuit protective conductors on a radial circuit. So before we test we need to zero out our test leads. We place firm edge to firm edge using crocodile clips we can auto lock and now we're ready to test. I've seen this test carried out in a number of different ways but for the interest of standardization we're going to follow the method in the on-site guides BS7671. So if you look in the on-site guides page 97, you see the method they use to carry the R1 plus R2 test is to place a link between the line conductor R1 and the CPC R2, thus creating from the end of line an R1 plus R2 loop. And it's this loop that we want to ascertain the resistance of. So quite simply, we're able to link out our lighting radial circuit Now with our temporary link inserted, we are now able to go to our end of line, that being where the CPC finishes, and take our measurement, our R1 plus R2 measurement, the one that will go on the test certificate, between the CPC and our line R1. To do this, we now need to change our crocodile clips to our probes and make sure our meter is set up on the lowest ohm value that the meter has. All we need to do is test between our line and our CPC to gain our value, our R1 plus R2 value. The value that we get is then recorded on our test certificate. And it's to be in the R1 plus R2 box. The value of our R1 plus R2 reading should correspond to what is expected from the design. Given that it's a small circuit, you are expecting a very low reading. However, page 190 of our on-site guides gives a table where you can look up the measurements. The most important thing being that we have gained a low ohm reading, demonstrating that the CPC is continuous all the way through back to the origin of the supply. While the temporary link is um, connected between uh, our line R1 and our CPC R2. It's also the position what's required when you carry out your pre-energized polarity checks. At the light, we can test between line and CPC. We can then simply open and then close the circuit 
to make sure that the line is switching accordingly. It should be pointed out though that the sequence in the on-site guides suggests or infers that this is done after installation resistance. However, I know most electricians on site would probably carry this test out straight after they've done their R1 plus R2. So that concludes our R1 plus R2 test on our circuit protective conductor. I should add that according to BS7671, uh, every single point in the circuit should be checked for continuity, not just the extremity. In our next video, we'll be looking at the continuity of ring final circuit conductors. So I hope to see you then. Bye.